Hello there, folks. Um, it's Robert Farr here, age 44. Now, um, I was just thinking that I'd better set up a care of address because I'm having problems with my housing situation. Um, I got, I came into this um, small, I came into a small room um, during COVID sort of thing, and it was really tough to find new accommodation. Um, affordable accommodation and it's really strange because just recently housing benefit um, has gone up so in the UK if you get into trouble if you're at work or something you can claim like welfare so you can claim um, oh, you, can, you can claim universal credit now or something it's, it's welfare and so you claim that, and if you can get, if you qualify for that, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a losing com competition, really. It's really strange. So the more savings you have, um, the more more um, money you're entitled to turn over through with universal credit. But it's also dangerous to game to play because, of course, if you haven't got any savings, um, you can't. You know, if there's if a if an emergency turns up, say for war, maybe if a war starts or something, then you're in serious trouble because you know, like maybe if the only job you can get is as a soldier or something, they could they could, they could easily cut off welfare and stuff, can they? And make everyone go out and fight. So hopefully, they're not going to. And I mean, I think I I would um. Maybe join a different army, you know, if, if that happened, try and get as far away as possible. In some place where it's not, it's not that competitive, that's not that stupid. It's stupid, isn't it? But now England's become a very crowded place. Um, I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do. But it might not be. Actually, I was thinking, you know, oh, if I become homeless, I'll probably. My phone's going to be stolen. No, no. But I'll probably be more chance. I think what homeless people tend to find is they, they start um, using Facebook or something. And Facebook becomes their point of contact or email because it doesn't require them to have a phone. So you can go and log in to Facebook or log into email or something. And you know, uh, everyone, you know, all those friends in your life, they all want to communicate in different ways that they want they, they want to communicate by text or they want to communicate by email or it's got to be Facebook or it's got to be Twitter or something, isn't it? So, but, you know, I keep, um, I try and, you know, you got to remember, but you got to remember all the, um, or log, remember all your login details and com and kind of reach a compromise between remembering the, the, the password and um, security sort of thing. Well, compromising security with accessibility. So and that's my situation. So I'm, I'm struggling. I'm going to be in court to, because I. I haven't been able to... I'll get distracted. I'll go on the internet, perhaps. And um, I know I'm, I'm going to go... I'm going to be looking for flats and that. But then again, there's some other people who are living where I am. And there's, there was initially five, but there's now four. And we were all struggling to find alternative accommodation, which is affordable and stuff. And it's a bit weird because now we're kind of like in competition a little bit. So I'm just, I'm just, I've got to be careful what I reveal to these people because I'll be like, oh yeah, 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 <laughs> oh your mate, I'm trying to help you out. And then at the same time, they're like competitors, aren't they? They were good com competition for. I mean, I know it would make sense if we kind of stuck together and said, oh. You know, we're a four, can we come and go and live in the house? But 
you know, there's a bit of banter. The banter that goes on here is, you know, it's not, it's not like good. I mean, some, some, some of the, like, some people can talk to, you. and then other people, you know, it's like, oh, you, you bully me and I'll bully you, sort of thing. You know, that's what it's kind of got down to. Well, the, at least the familiar familiarity has uh, has kind of increased. You know, because sometimes you get. Oh, they're bullying you, and you're like, "Oh, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir." But uh, you know, if you know them a bit better, you, they're bullying you, and you you bully them back, and they probably laugh back because that's maybe what they're used to. You know, maybe that's I don't know. That's what sort of way they like to socialise is is to, to, to bully people and get bullied back or something. But um, and but I mean, uh, I'm not very connecting very well with my neighbours too much. You know, see, so I see them in passing and everything. Um, but I assume they're like me, you know, if I was to knock on their door, they'd probably be asleep or something. Or, well, I'm not really, not really asleep when I'm in my room. A lot of the time I'm kind of involved in, you know, trying to be, just being bored really. And, and, and I must be wasting time, a lot of time on the music projects, you know, learning karaoke lyrics or something. But at the same time, I sort of, well, I think I need to cut down on, you know, because, like, well, get, get my act together, really, isn't it? You know, imagine singing 10 songs in front of a huge crowd of 10,000 people or something, and then they all pay £10 a ticket. That would be great, wouldn't it? But, I mean, what, you know, what do, what they expect, you know, and... Should you do? Should you focus on a magic trick or something? You always, you know, you know, need to make some sort of unique act or something, or maybe you're never going to be able to do that anyway, because it's it's just a chance that only a few people, you know, packing out theatres and so on. A bit of a dream for me, but I mean, at the same time, I'm not really progressing in the right way towards that goal. In that, you know, I'm not I'm not a theatre school. Um uh, and I don't really I mean, well, I am at the Red Bull Music Academy. I listen to lectures there. And but I mean my prior experience has been in uh engineering and science and science didn't get any that was not very good for me. But engineering I managed to make some money out of engineering. So but music and that uh, I don't know. Singing songs to keep my spirits up, sort of thing. I suppose that's that's where you could look at it. And I've got a um, got a take with me. Got a, I suppose you know prepare for the worst. I need to kind of pack a emergency bag. You know, if you, if I was to have to be living um, sleeping out on the streets and everything, I need a house sack with a tent in it or something. Um, a sleeping bag. And um, you know, contact emergency contact details and everything. Um, a book or something. A cheap telephone or something. Something that's not going to get nicked. Something that's not going to attract muggers and stuff. I need to find a balance between um, functional stuff and stuff that's not going to be stolen. Stuff that I'm going to need. Um, I'm thinking, you know, cheap phones with. A radio function, so I can listen to the radio, and I can maintain contact with different people in my life, and, and other people can. I'll try and keep the same telephone number, perhaps. Um, and um, you know, make a point of going to the, because you can go to the mobile phone shop and say, oh, "I lost my phone. Can I have a replacement SIM, please?" And then they should. Um, place the sim and then you can keep the same contact number but maybe that's a bit too hard you know to focus on on you know just making sure i log into a computer like once a week or some once a fortnight or something just to maintain contract and uh, and but then and also i don't know when i'm going to i'm going to court on tuesday but i don't know what if they're going to chuck me straight out you think uh Bailiffs to come and get all my stuff out or something, and um, 
I've got a friend who's helping me store stuff, but she is so awkward and difficult to deal with. And uh, oh, I'll switch the old light on to me. So you know, there's uh, the other option is to put stuff in the storage. I've looked into it before. This storage boxes that you can rent for say twenty pound a week or something. But then I think you know some of the stuff. I mean, twenty quid. Just trying to think, you know, how much what what I could tr probably try and you know, replace all my stuff. I mean, I'm going to sell if I you know, actually do become homeless. I'll definitely sell my video phone straight away. Keep a cheap phone for as long as possible. That'll probably get nicked. Um, but you know, there's ways people do. There's way people survive on the streets. They, they they pretend they haven't got a phone because. If you are living on the streets, it's likely to become, come across um, drug addicts and things like that, and people like that, particularly in the city, because um, you know drug addicts and dangerous criminals and stuff seem to kind of like cities because of the an 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 because it's an anonymous <laughs> anonymity, I think it's called. So yeah. And so, I mean, I'll probably, if I was, if I really am, really am stuck, you know, because I'm having difficult financial problems with this. Um, well, I can't really say too much because you always say, "Oh, don't, don't talk about, it, don't talk about me." Yeah, but I mean, my finance, my my money seems to be all go out on to to one person who's taking my money. And she's saying that she needs money for a certain reason, but I think she's lying about it. So I think I might be getting tricked out of my money. So if I manage to kind of get away from my this person who's tricking me, um, but still I need to somehow still connect with services. I was, well, you know, what I'm thinking is perhaps I'm going to Cornwall, go camping down there. But the services down there, I don't, I don't know how I connect to the internet in Cornwall. Uh, but it's kind of safer there because the gangs, the gangsters in Cornwall are not that serious. I don't think they're not. Um, I don't know really. They're not as successful, <laughs> you know. Well, I should imagine, you know, you know, the gangsters in London must be the most successful. You know, the wealthier places. It's a bit of a losing game, really. Um, so I could connect to the best services and pay the, the highest prices and everything, but then there'll be. Um, I'll have to f have to deal with the, the most dangerous of gangsters. You probably didn't, well, wouldn't bother with me because they wouldn't wouldn't really. We were they were, you know what can they nick off me? Well, they could nick everything I got, couldn't they? I suppose you know my house that it's my house that's got my phone in it, but the phone's worth a ten or something. Or to them to, to sell it second hand is probably five pound or something i think second out a phone is worth and then some dirty old rucksack but i suppose yeah oh easy easy soft target really and, and then i don't know just i suppose i'm gonna have to give up right you know if you're faced with a mug or some some sort of desperate drug addict who's that desperate to mug someone I don't know. Yeah, that's what that's what happens, isn't it? It's... Right, bye.